I know a country who would invest a ton of money into that. This panel proposes a very clever idea. Since earthquakes are waves traveling through the ground, we could use some special structures to divert these waves. While this is very ambitious, but it doesn't work. At least for now. Fun fact, Nikola Tesla claimed his mechanical oscillator could cause earthquakes, a steam-powered device that vibrates at high speeds to generate electricity. Although it shook the ground and the vibrations could be felt tens of meters away, there is no way it could trigger a real earthquake, however, Taylor Swift could. I mean the tremors caused by synchronized jumping of thousands of people present in her concerts. Speaking of human-induced seismic activity, forcing large volumes of wastewater into a disposal well has triggered real earthquakes in Oklahoma. The fluid pressure underground reduces the frictional strength of existing faults, which can lead to an increased seismic activity. An earthquake is formed of mechanical waves that pulse through the earth and move forward, like ripples in water but way more complicated. Using computer simulations, some French researchers have come up with a periodic structure that could in theory counter a quake. They found that regularly spaced holes in the ground, about 1.7 meters apart might affect the wave propagation. To check out whether the simulation worked, they had to try it in the real world. They took a big empty field and dug 30 holes 5 meters deep, and then instead of waiting for a quake that may never come, they used a big truck that shook the ground 50 times per second, and the result was actually pretty impressive. It turned out that the holes cornered the waves and prevented them from spreading further, but don't let these results fool you. A real quake would tear this whole place apart because earthquakes generate much lower and complicated frequencies than the tested one. Plus, a quake has the potential of suddenly releasing more energy than a nuclear bomb. Creating an opposing force of that magnitude would be practically impossible, at least for now. Seismic-based isolation is a more realistic approach that has actually saved so many people and structures. The building's foundation is separated from the ground, allowing it to oscillate slightly during an earthquake to absorb the shock, before safely going back to its place. 